John 1.21 Et interrogaverunt eum quid ergo? Helias es tu? Et dicit non sum. Profeta es tu? Et respondit non. And they asked him, that is, the priests and the Levites sent from Jerusalem, they asked him, What then, what therefore, are you Elijah, Helias, et dicit, and he says, Non sum, I am not. Propheta est tu? Are you a prophet? Are you the prophet? And he responded, no. Our second word in the sentence, interrogaverunt, we've already seen before, we've already seen, in fact, this whole phrase. They asked him, third person, plural, perfect, active, indicative, from interrogo, interrogare. And they asked him, this is John the Baptist again, Johannes Baptista, quid ergo? Okay, and we've got to add some English punctuation to help us make sense of this. This is a direct quotation, seamlessly introduced without any intermediate words. Quid ergo? What, therefore? That is to say, what, what are we supposed to think? Who are you, then? Helias S2? Are you Elijah? And this is the Latin transliteration of the Greek form, of Elijah's name that was used in the Greek Septuagint, the Greek translation of the Old Testament. Helias, S2, are you Elijah? That's the end of the quotation there, right after two. Et dicit, this is, this is our narrator again, this is John the Evangelist speaking, and he says, notice the present tense here, the historical present. He says, even though this is all happening in the past, the Evangelist uses the present tense for vividness. Uh, there's something analogous in English. Uh, my perception is that it, it's less common among younger generations. But if you have a grandmother or an older uncle, they might say, and then he says to me, why are you wearing socks and sandals together anyway? This seems to be a, a kind of archaic feature in English conversation, but it's very frequent in ancient authors in all sorts of different periods to use the present tense when they're narrating past events for the sake of vividness or freshness in the narrative. It sort of puts you in the moment, so to speak. But you might ask then, well, if dicit is present, what about respondit? Why isn't that in the present tense? Because hopefully you recognize we have here respondeo, respondere, respondi, our third principal part showing us how to form the perfect tense. So this is, in fact, third person perfect active, indicative, third person singular, he responded. So why the historical present at dicit and not at respondit? If you've been watching these videos for some time, you can probably guess the answer because that's what happens in the Greek New Testament. Here for dicit, we have lege in the third person singular, present active indicative, but then aorists at uh, respondit and interrogaverunt. So it's another example of our Latin translators following very closely the Greek text. They asked him, what therefore? Are you Elijah? And he says, and here's again a quotation, non sum. Okay, and here we have to understand a pause in the grammar again, and then a change of speaker. Okay, so it's John the Baptist saying, non sum, I am not. And then the priests and Levites ask him another question. Propheta, this is a long E, propheta S2, and then that's the end of that quotation. Then our narrator takes over again, et respondit, and he answered, non, nope, I am not the propheta. By the way, what is behind these questions that the priests and Levites are asking John the Baptist? Well, they have in mind, it seems, two different passages in the Old Testament. One in Malachi chapter 4, predicting a messenger to precede the Messiah, Elijah. And the other perhaps makes reference to a figure promised in Deuteronomy chapter 18, whom the Jewish leaders and thinkers of the time seem to have associated with 
the coming of the Messiah. So they're trying to discern, well, John, if you're not claiming to be the Christ, who are you then? What is your significance in redemption history, they might have said. And John, again, answers very emphatically and gives a clear testimony. No, I'm not Elijah. No, I am not that prophet. And so we get some back and forth conversation for the first time here. 